welcome back to the channel. Today it's uh, February 12th, 2023. Beautiful here in Ontario, Canada. It's, I don't know, probably about five or six degrees right now. <clears throat> Odd for February, but hey, we're gonna take it. Anyways, as you can see, we got the arm axe out here today. Right there. And I seen a lot of posts on uh, different social media there uh facebook mainly they're asking what we're using the mounter tablets in the arm axis so i thought i'd do a quick little video here just to show you what i'm using and it works great for me and hopefully it'll help out some of you that uh have been asking questions uh, i know there's a lot of different ways to mount them but i love the way i did mine it's nice and neat and tidy and yeah, hopefully, uh, I know there's other people that have done it too, because I I found it off Facebook, how to do it, and I just thought I'd do a little video here to show you. So, uh, yeah, turn these around here. Get the other camera going in the in the side by side there. Show you here what we're doing. So, as you can see, I have an otter box. That's how I'm mounting it. Uh, this here is the same piece that comes with stock on them that your the Adventure Pro would set in. I just took and put four little bolts. Probably only need two, but I put four just to, so it wouldn't vibrate or nothing. And then I take my tablet right here. And I just one thing you do need for this is a Galaxy. Uh, Samsung Galaxy A7 Lite. You will need a 90 degree charging cable because it fits fairly tight here. And you just set her in there. Hold on here, she just went to sleep on me there. So. Snap her in, just like that. And then come down here, I already got some of the apps open. Just because, uh, and we do go to West Virginia to Hatfield McCoy Trails, so I have Oryx Maps, the app loaded on it with the Bob T Maps. And as you can see, they're all right there. Okay, I had to kind of do a little editing here on my video because uh, when I was outside, it was hard to see the the maps there. So I come back in my garage and and uh just redoing this clip for you but uh this is oryx maps and it shows the the bob t maps for uh the hatfield mccoy trails and the outlaw trails in west virginia as you can see it's got them all on there they're all color coded whatnot so that's what we use for when we're down in west virginia and then if i Go to another map here and go to quad on this is the one for uh that we use here in ontario for our OFATV trails and later come on sorry about that Need smaller here. Straighten her out. And this is again all of our OFA TV trails in Ontario. It doesn't look like a lot until you start blowing it up, and then there's miles and miles and miles of trails. All kinds of them. Right now they're all in red because of uh they're all closed for the winter. A lot of them are snowmobile trails, so of course we're not allowed on them. So yeah. So that's what we use for our OFA TV trail maps. And then uh, uh, another one here. And then we have Players Ride Command. Sorry about the delay here. Okay, and this one here, it shows, this is what we use for our, uh, the Kawartha ATV Club Association uh, trails. And Lake of Bays, uh, all up through Kearney Way, 
Keep on going up through by Kearney up there. Baysville. Well, I guess that's Baysville, so that's Lake of Bays there. And then continue on up. Yeah, up towards Kearney, all up in there. So, anyways, we use the player's ride command for those. And then I use Locust Maps. Okay, we're back up here now. And again, this is Locust Maps. These are all the different tracks that I've I recorded and other people have sent me and and whatnot. So it works uh, works really well. This was my original app. This is what I started out on before even Quad On was out there and whatnot. So uh, so yeah, it works really well for what I need it for, anyways. So. Hope that helped you out some. I do use, uh, like I said, the 90 degree charging cable. And last year I had it plugged in here to the 12 volt plug with just an adapter. But this year I am putting a, a USB plug in here. Mainly because this year little adapter thingy here, uh, sometimes it wouldn't make connection in there for some reason. You'd have to turn it just a certain way for it to work. And next thing you know, your tablet would be dead. Battery would go. So this year I'm putting it directly into a USB plug on the dash. Just to, so I know I have it. And yeah, so that's, uh, that's basically what we're doing. So Hope that helped a lot of you there that uh, were wondering how a lot of us mount them. That's exactly how I mount mine. It's nothing fancy, but it does look, as you can see, it does look good there. It looks almost factory, you could say. Nice and neat and tidy. The otter box somewhat protects it, so I'm sure if I submerged it in water, it might not last too long, but I try not to submerge it in water. So... Anyway, so I hope that helps you all. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. And uh, leave a comment. Subscribe. I know there's a lot of views on there, but uh, a lot of you aren't subscribing. If you could subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps out the channel and whatnot. It doesn't cost nothing to subscribe to YouTube, so it's all free. Just set up an account, and you get notifications when, uh, when I upload another video. So... Like I say, it's February 12th here, and we're just itching to get out riding. If hopefully, a few more weeks, get into March, and uh, yeah, we'll be able to get out on a few different sections of trails and go for a ride. So, again, hope you've enjoyed it, and hope this helped you all out, and we'll catch you the next one. Mm -hmm.